Hello viewers and welcome to a new STM32 World tutorial video. In this video is probably going to be a rather short uh, tips and tricks category video, uh, but um, well, I've, I'm considering whether I should make a new uh, playlist with tips and tricks. Uh, this one hardly qualifies as an actual tutorial video, but Never mind, let's uh, for now just make it the same way. Now, one thing I have seen a lot of questions about is how do you actually duplicate or clone a project in STM32 uh, Cubide? And well, let's look at an example here uh, that I just came across. Uh, I was looking at some of the old projects, and in this case, I was looking at the Black Pill Blink. Uh, and I, which I did a long time ago, and if I try to <coughs> open the STM32 uh, Cube MX, it will say that this project was set up with an earlier version, and now they would like to upgrade it. Now, this uh, in this project, I know I could do it, uh, but it is dangerous because it replaces all the underlying code of. Uh, the project. So, uh, what if I uh, found another way of doing this? So, I'll say cancel to that, and rather than actually editing Blink 2 here, I'll clone this project to a new project, and thereby going through the steps of actually upgrading this without touching the original. So, first step is to right-click on the project here, and uh, copy it. And you can then paste a new project, and it will actually pick a relatively intelligent name. Uh, in this case, we could call it, uh, no, let's call it Blink2 uh, update for now. All right, and copy the project. That will create a new project over here, which is renamed Black Pill uh, Blink2 update. Uh, there's a few changes that need to be made in here because you'll see it didn't actually update the name of the IOC file. So let's uh, rename that uh, manually. Uh, so let's call that Blink2 update. Now you could probably do a clean, but I think it's easier just to nuke. The, the debug folder because that will be recreated. So we can just delete the debug folder completely. And then we can now try to run that IOC uh, STM32 Cubamax. It will ask me if I want to migrate. And I said, well, migrate then. As usual, it takes a little bit of time, especially if you migrate. Uh, it needs to update the old one, but it's not too bad. Uh, it looked really weird though. Uh, I haven't seen this before. Let's try to. Uh, uh, Okay, let's reset the perspective. Also didn't work. I didn't plan to, uh, but let's try to generate the code to see if I can actually open this later. <laughs> Let's see if we can open it now. Okay, that was better. So anyway, we have now generated the Blink 2 update source code and let's have a look at the main as usual i do not like tabs in my so i'll format this and it will update i also noticed this one used 
my old system before I figured out a better way of doing this. So let's uh, update this while we're at it. No, let's try to run it first and just verify that it is working. Uh, okay. We uh, need to configure the debugger again because this has not run before, so that's fine. And here we go, it actually blinks. So uh, let's change this to the better. Uh, we call these uh, next blink instead. Next blink. Next tick. It is a lot faster if we just use your UV tick directly. And if now is greater than or equal next blink and next blink now plus 500. Uh, so essentially what is happening here is that rather than do this calculation every single time the loop goes through, we just do this calculation every second. Next tick and next tick equals now plus thousand. And let's also set the values up here. We set this one to 500 and this one to thousand. Let's try to build that. And it builds. Let's try to run it and look at our device. There we go. A blink once a second. So we now have a new project and the original project blink 2 is still intact. Uh, what we could do, I guess, is we could rename. We could delete that and rename this once we're happy with it. Um, that would, uh, in this case, I'm just going to delete this one and update this one because I know it's working and uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So, short video, uh, just showing how you can actually clone a project and reuse your old code. Uh, I cannot count the number of times I have created a file uh, and added this uh, UART um, redirect uh, and the main loop uh, blink functionality, uh, it is much, much easier just to take an existing project uh, and clone that. One thing I don't know, which I hope I figure out one day is, and one thing that irritates me in STM32 Cube MX and Cube IDE is that it's almost impossible, or at least I haven't found an elegant way of changing the MCU. Say I want this black pill, uh, blink to run on my STM32 world board, which is essentially uh, STM32 F405 rather than STM32 F411. Uh, it's really not easy to do that in an elegant way. I end up copying codes over and regenerating with QMFX and it, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, but if anybody know a really elegant way of doing this, please uh, add in the comments below and as usual um, please like and subscribe and if you don't like this video let me know why uh, so I can improve and uh, as usual have a wonderful rest of the day.